we have a new record being set by CERN. They're saying that the LHC has achieved collisions between lead nuclei at the highest levels and that these experiments are finally starting to open their eyes so they can see exactly what happened and what they say was the seconds after the Big Bang so they can study the models of this quark gluon plasma. What they're saying now with this newest results out of the experiment is that they've taken two lead ions or nuclei and they have ran them together and when they did so more than 30,000 particles were created in that central collision between just two lead ions. Now they're saying that this energy concentration has never been achieved under terrestrial conditions until now. That's what they're stating. They just achieved this and if they can get 30,000 particles out of smashing two lead ions together they're going to step it up from here you know and it's just going to continue to grow larger and larger. How much can they get out of just these small ions? And they're studying all this, and we've talked about this before. This is where you're talking about ripping apart space-time. This is where real talk of, of a stargate, so to speak, or something like that would be potentially possible, and also why it is always referenced in relation to CERN, and anytime that you try to find a correlation as to what exactly CERN could do here. Well, it's ripping apart these particles, and it could do just that. It could puncture a hole in space-time. And there's always levels of knowledge they do not share with the public that goes down during these experiments at these facilities. One thing's for sure. They, they're going to keep ramping up. They're setting new records. This latest one did show them indeed that they could get at least 30,000 particles out of smashing together these two lead ions. So I'll leave a link with more information. Just wanted to do the update on it. Actually leave two for you. And until next time, this has been Dabu7. Peace.